Al Othmani became Prime Minister only eight days ago. Long enough for him to resolve a political impasse that's paralysed Morocco for almost six months. King Mohammed VI sacked his predecessor, Abdel Ila Benkiran, after he failed to resolve long standing differences. The new Prime Minister says his government coalition will include parties Benkiran refused to work with. I am pleased to inform you that it was decided to form a majority government of six parties. This resolution represents a firm will to overcome the obstacles that have prevented the formation of a government in the past months. We will work together to establish a government based on an effective structure. Both men are members of the Justice and Development Party, or PJD. The conservative Islamists emerged from protests during the Arab Spring six years ago. Following the protests demanding reforms and a referendum, the king who holds ultimate power introduced constitutional reforms. The PJD, with Benkidan at the helm, won the election that followed. It also won the election in October. But under Moroccan law, no party can win an outright majority in parliament, making coalition governments necessary. Benkidan had been able to navigate Morocco's complex politics, forming and reforming coalitions until last week. The political deadlock, reportedly due largely to party political differences, threatened Morocco's economic stability and its progressive image in a region troubled by war and political unrest. Othmani is showing that he's uh, quite a doctor, quite shrink, and he's acting accordingly by responding to the palace and doing exactly what he was t told to do. But this means, in many ways, that the PGD, the Islamist party, is losing ground, is losing ground in the sense that it is uh, smaller, uh, less powerful than it was when it first came into power uh, uh, at, at the end of the, uh, the Arab Spring in 2011. The agreement to form a coalition has forced the PJD to compromise with smaller parties. Prime Minister Al Othmani says he's now looking forward to getting the engine of government moving once again. Mirjana Hond, Al Jazeera.